Hello, my name is Ardi and this is the sixth video of the circuit analysis series. So in this video, I will explain about linearity. So what is a linearity? So basically, if we have linear circuit and we have inputs and output, so let's let's make this here as our input port yeah so this is input and this is our output okay what it means by linearity is if we multiply the input by some constant then we get also we get the output of it will also multiplied by that constant for example in this circuit we have the input as this voltage source and if we multiply this voltage source here by a then if this is a linear circuit the current here will be a times i like that this is the linearity property which is a multiplication by a constant so a can be any constant it can be positive number it can be a fraction it can be negative number so as long as this a is a constant we can also get the output is also multiplied by a constant okay and then that is the first thing that we need to know about linearity and here we have linear circuit and linear circuit is just a, a circuit that consists of linear components for now linear circuit here only cons consists of resistor voltage source and current source so as long as this is contains resistor only resistor only voltage source and only current source then we can use this linearity model okay we can model capacitor and inductor but with some uh, transformation mathematical transformation later but for now the linear circuit is a circuit that consists of resistor voltage source and current source and we have the application for this linearity property so this is the example of linearity application problem so assume that v0 v0 is here is equal to one volt and use linearity to calculate the actual value of v0 okay let's do this problem using this very property of linearity okay now first thing that we need to do is write what the given in the problem so assume that v0 is one volt okay let's assume that v0 here is one volt so we don't actually know the value of this voltage source let's just erase that 40 volt first so we pretend to does not know that actual value <laughs> like that so now our goal will be find the voltage here so let's just put this ground here so i want to find out the voltage in this node here okay if this is one volt what can we do from here i think we can do ohm's law and find out the current that passed through this resistor right Okay, let's name this current as I. And we can calculate that I by using Ohm's law, right? Which is V divided by R. And that means that we have the voltage here. It will be V0. That is 1 volt divided by 8. And that makes our I is 0. Point one two five ampere. Okay, like that. 
and then if this current here is 0 0.125 ampere we can find out the voltage here why because the current is flowing here and this is this resistor is connected in series so this current here is also i and we can calculate this v here let's name this as va maybe and va will be that i multiplied by the total resistance here which is 12 plus 8 right uh, 12 plus not multiply 12 plus 8 and so I will have 0 0.125 ampere multiplied by 20 and so I will have what this multiplied by 2 will be 0 0.250 and that will be 2.5 volt so our VA here will be 2.5 volt when the V0 is 1 volt okay so now let's draw the black box version of this circuit so we have this voltage source here and this circuit here will be a black box let's do that let's name this as linear circuit and we have this P0 as our output so that means that we have this resistor here and this plus minus here will be V0 and V0 here will be 1 volt as we assume in the problem and then this voltage source here will be 2.5 volt okay now we have this black box model of the circuit now what can we do next is to find out the real value of this voltage source okay let's uncrop this so this is actually 40 volt but we now have 2.5 volt what can we do from here okay now we have this black box version of our circuit and here we have the assumption value which is in red and the actual value will be in blue so in order to make it the actual value we need to multiply this 2.5 volt by what by 16 right because 16 multiplied by 2.5 will be 40 volt so i multiply this by 16 in input so that means that i can multiply 16 in the output so i will have this v0 will be 1 volt multiplied by 16 and so we can calculate the value of actual v0 which is v0 is 1 multiplied by 16 and that will be 16 volt and this is the value that asks in the question so remember in linearity if we multiply the input by some constant we can also multiply the output by a constant so that is the linearity property okay thank you for watching hopefully this will help you understanding about linearity in the circuit and thank you for watching bye bye